Hi folks, welcome back to the Carver's Wood Shop. I just want to explain a couple things to you. First of all, I went back up at the top here and dug it in pretty deep here on the very top with just a knife. With the point of the knife, I went down in there and, and cleaned it up pretty good. I also finished up all the corners here and try to clean up everything underneath here where they overlap a little bit. All right. Um, so you want to go back and, and trim any of the rough spots off. If you want to make it a little bit softer because this is the end piece that you're working on on the pineapple, it can be really tough if your knife is not sharp. So take a little bit of um, um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol and water 50-50 and put it in a little spray bottle. You can get these at Walmart for a buck a piece and I use quite a few of these with different ones in it. And all you do is just spray it a little bit at the top like that just a couple of times and then when you go to cut this I'll just show you when you go to cut this it almost cuts like butter because you're just doing see how easy that was it it just cuts so nicely um, you know if you go with the grain a little bit it cuts like butter so you can really clean it up really really nicely by you know using that spray mixture on your carving. Then you can use it around anywhere. You don't want to saturate it to death, but uh, if you have a hard piece of wood or something that's not going exactly as easily as you planned, then by all means, um, you know, use that spray mixture of 50/50. Of um, the other thing is, I try to get a lot of this, these pencil marks off just with an irregular eraser. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. You have two methods you can do. You can go back over it real fine and just sliver it off with your with your knife. Just like that, because we're not going to sand it anyway. Just want, don't want to make it too deep if you do it. And the other thing I do, I use the same bottle, okay? Same type of bottle, not the actual one. I use the same bottle, and what I, what I use with this is I uh, put a... Um, straight Clorox in it. You can put 50% water in it, but I put straight Clorox. And this is such a fine mist. You'll find this in the pharmacy department at Walmart. They are 97 cents or a dollar for one of these. They're so handy and they're leak proof. I can put I can take them along anywhere. As you can tell, there's no leaks at all with this uh, with this with this um, container which is nice. Uh, just make sure you tighten it up if you're going to take it in your toolbox and stuff. I've never had one of these leak. Not saying it can't happen, but I've been very lucky it hasn't happened. So what you want to do um, with it is once you get 50 or pretty well 100%, what you want to do is go over a sink. You don't want to get that Clorox in your good clothes if you're wearing something. If you don't want it bleached, go to the sink or wear old clothes and just spray it. You know, you can go over it, and I'll show you with this because this isn't um, this isn't the same stuff. But you just want to about like that. You know, saturate it just a tad. Go back over it, and that's about as much of the Clorox you want to put on there. And then let it dry overnight. Okay. And if you still see spots that are still dark, take your knife and go back over it and just clean it up a little bit. Okay. You don't want to saturate it to death with the Clorox. But Clorox will clean up an awful lot. It will whiten up your piece. Um, it can get a little, you know, it can get a little funny with the wood if you put too much on it. I've noticed, but for the most part, um, you should have no problems uh, with with doing that. Again, folks, I want to explain to you um, there is a uh, website called Arlene Carver's Wood Shop. If you're interested in joining that on Facebook, you're welcome to join. We have about 20, I think 23 or 24 people now, I lost count, uh, that have joined with that. And some people are posting their pictures on that wall. I wanted to explain, you have to post your pictures on that wall, not on your own uh, wall. Um, because people that aren't signed up with you will not be able to see it. If you sign up with the uh, Arlene Carver's Woodshop account, you'll be able to see any of the... Um, any of the carvings um, that are displayed there um, you know and I've seen some really neat stuff folks I really want to thank those of you that already posted thank you so much for doing it it's really a pleasure to see others other you know other work and it gives me inspiration to try a few new things or maybe things I didn't think I should have tried before 
um, and it's really supposed to be an encouragement and this is for all levels you don't need to be an expert in carving to to post feel free to post you know we'll appreciate anything that you've done with you know we've all been beginners at one point or another we all started somewhere simple if it's you know if it's just the pumpkin that I did, I did online and you did one show us what it looks like everybody has a different style of doing um, painting and I have found it a cr quite a delight how they can take the same carving that I teach and have it look similar but it's completely different and it's so cool to see that it really is so take the time go to that go to that Facebook um, channel and uh, take a look at some of the carvings there once you join you'll be able to see anything that anybody posts but make sure you post it on that wall on uh, Arlene Carver's Woodshop um, the other thing is I'm going to plan to do the uh, ornament of this I don't know if I have it with me no I don't I don't know what I did with that um, the flat style um, ornament and uh, that will be probably after this it will be a flat style just like the angel was you know um, and it will just be a one side that you can hang it in a tree so it will be the same concept but it will be very quick it won't take a lot of a lot of doing but I know a lot of you folks enjoy doing ornaments and I'm going to try to get a couple other things going I also have a couple of other ideas coming up for my Santa and friends I'm going to have one called uh, helping friends and uh, it's the same two characters the uh, hobo Santa and the snowman that's coming up next so um, you know you're welcome to keep an eye out for that okay I thank you very much for joining me and uh, the next time we come back tomorrow we will probably start painting it and we should be able to paint it in one sitting I don't see anything really difficult I'm gonna see if I can find a little bit different paint wasn't too happy with the paint on the bottom, but it gives you a general idea. Okay, folks, thanks again for joining the Carver's Woodshop, and we'll catch you next time around. Bye-bye.